All right, so today we're going to be making this adjustable support here. This is a really good part to learn some things like locating centers of circles using tangent tangent radius uh, features, um, and then also doing some trimming. Um, it looks like kind of a difficult part. It's not super easy, but once you know how to do it, um, it's not that hard. So I'm going to show you a method that's maybe a little bit different than most ways people would say to do this, but I think this is a pretty nice, easy way to do uh, this part. So first thing I need is a circle. So I can, I like to type instead of clicking if I can. So C, enter, and then for my center point, if I want to put it right on the zero here, I can just type zero comma zero and hit enter and it'll automatically locate it there. So my first circle has, the larger one has a radius of one, and then if I hit spacebar, go back in the circle, now I can go back and click the center now that I have a circle there. And the radius of my second circle is 0.5. And I'll hit enter. Now from here, I've created these two circles here, this one and this one. And what I want to do is find the centers of these next two circles. So I'm going to do it two different ways. First way, this is a horizontal line. And I can figure out how far away it is by noticing there's a center line that goes through both of these circles that has a radius of 3, meaning the distance from the center to the outside of the radius is 3. So I can create a line. I could type L, hit Enter. I could click the center, start creating my line like so. And if I know it's a horizontal line, I could even do this. I could turn on ortho mode. I can move over so I make sure that it's horizontal. And I can type 3 and hit enter. And now I have a line that goes right over the right here, exactly 3 inches. I'll turn ortho mode back off. And I'll create another line from the center. And this time I'm going to put it at an angle because this one's at a 40 degree angle up. So this time I'll type in some polar coordinates. I'll type in at 3. And then I'll use the less than sign, like you see up there, 40. So that indicates at a length of 3 at an angle of 40. I hit enter, and I can hit escape or the space bar to get out of there. There's the location of my other two circles. Now I'll put those circles in. The outside one has a radius of 1 for both of these. The inside has a radius of 0.5 for both of these. So I'll create my circle. Click, one, hit space bar, click, one, hit space bar, click, 0.5, space bar, which just repeats the last command, which is why I keep saying it, 0.5. Okay, and now I have those two circles. Now, that's the only need I have for these two lines here. So I can go ahead and type E for erase and hit enter. Click these two lines, hit enter, get rid of them, because those circles are in the right place now. Now I'm going to, I like to create the outside shape first. So I notice, we'll start at the bottom here because it kind of jumps out at you, that this is a radius of three, but it doesn't give you a location to the center of the circle, which tells me it's tangent, meaning it touches at only one point to this circle and tangent to this circle. So to make that, I can go up here, I can hit my pull down, here and go to tangent tangent radius and then what I want to do is try to click near the tangent point so in this one it's the bottom right quadrant this one it's the bottom left I'll show you what happens when I do that so bottom right quadrant click bottom left quadrant click and then I type 3 for the radius and hit enter and there's my circle it's tangent to both of those circles I'll just have to trim this away all right now if you don't make sure to click in the right spot or near the spot you think it is. You may have something like this happen. So let's say I just click the circles on the outside here and I type in 3. Now I get a circle that goes the other way. It's still tangent, but it doesn't go in the area I, I wanted because my tangent points weren't over where I clicked for that one. So I'm just going to undo that. And I'll look at my other one. So I have a radius of... whoops a radius of 5 right here and the tangent on this top left quadrant 
tangent on this near the top but more towards the left. So I'll go tangent, tangent radius, top left quadrant, near the top but more towards the left, radius of 5, so I'll type in a 5 and hit enter. Look at that, that worked pretty good. Now to create this one over on the right, <clears throat> I've got to do some math. So if from the center of here to the center of this circle is three, and I have a circle that this is tangent to that has a radius of one, meaning from the center to the outside here is one, I just add these together. Three plus one means the radius of this is four. So I'll go tangent, tangent, radius again. I'll click near the outside here. Click near the outside here, and I'll type in a 4 and hit enter. And if your circle goes the wrong way, just undo it or erase it and go back and try and click in those same points again. Okay, so now that I've gotten rid of this, I can go into Trim, TR, hit enter. I'll just type all because I'm going to use everything to trim. Hit enter, and then I'll hit enter one more time. And now what I have to do is work my way out from the outside in. So you can see I'm getting rid of these circles from the outside in. Get rid of that. 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 Get rid of these two. These two. And I may have to zoom in to get these two. Alright. And at some point, and I'll bring this stuff back, you may have a situation like this where you start getting rid of stuff and you click and you click and before you know it, there's a piece that you can't trim anymore because there's nothing to trim it with. Just leave it for the time being. Trim the rest of your part as best you can. All right, and then hit escape and we'll just erase that little guy down there. Okay, so there's my shape. Now if I look at this, I have a couple other arcs I need to put in. I have one here, I have one here, and I have one here. All right. So, to put those in, I need to do some more math. So, for this one, now we're going to 3 minus the 1. So, we're going 3 back 1. So, 3 minus 1 is 2. So, if I go tangent, tangent radius, I'm going to pick near the bottom left of this. Oops, sorry. Bottom left of this one. Top left of this one. Type a 2. Hit enter. Look at that. That looks pretty good. And if I go ahead and trim this now, I'll trim with just this circle, this circle, this circle, and this one, and then hit enter. I can get rid of that. I can get rid of this inside arc, and I can get rid of that one. That's pretty darn close. Now I need two more arcs to connect this on the outside and the inside, so I have to do some more math. I have three to get to the center. The radius is 0.5 for this. So from this center to out here is 0.5, and from this center to in here is 0.5, which means I have 3 plus 0.5, 3.5, or 3 minus 0.5, which is 2.5. So tangent, tangent radius, upper right of that one, far right of that one, 3.5. There we go. Tangent, tangent radius again, inside of this one, inside of this one, 2.5. And then I get those. So now I'll do the same thing again. TR for trim, enter, this circle, this circle, this one, and this one are the four I'm gonna use. I'll hit enter. I'll trim away these outside, and I'll trim away these inside ones. And when I hit escape, I am done with my part. So if I drag this guy over here, blow him up so we can see. I drag this one over here. We can see we've made our piece. All right, and all we've used is really a couple commands just to create a couple lines and then trimming some circles and using tangent points, meaning these nice smooth transitions usually gives you a clue it's a tangent uh, to make the outside shape.